another gift for you and is right here in this little circular thing. What do we have for little Ozzy? For my father, the Pale Emperor. His he is? Listen here. At age 27, I will leave this earth for this man right here. He's the Pale Emperor. the watchtower by guitar legend Jimi Hendrix. He died in 1970, asphyxiation from vomiting after drug and alcohol use. Janis Joplin belts out, tell mama, she too died in 1970, heroin overdose. People are strange. When, when you're strange by the doors with Jim Morrison, he died in 1971, heart failure from drug and alcohol use. Recently, Kurt Cobain of Nirvana with his rock anthem, Smells Like Teen Spirit, he died in 1994, suicide. All rock stars, all dead at age 27. Now, Amy Winehouse, cause of death still unknown, but she too joins the so-called 27 Club. Eric Siegelstad and Josh Hunter wrote a book asking why they die so young. The quote that uh, Janis Joplin told her biographer back in 1970 or so was, people, whether they know it or not, uh, like their blues singers miserable. Maybe my audience can enjoy my music more if they think that I'm destroying myself. And I think that that's a quote that, you know, Amy probably would agree with. It's an unexplained statistic that's become both rock and roll myth and legend. And as we see crowds of fans come to pay tribute to Amy Winehouse's home here, many are asking, if aspiring artists are in danger of glorifying the 27 Club. That's what critics are saying about rapper M.I.A.'s tribute to Amy Winehouse. Released to the public on her Twitter account with the message R.I.P. Amy, a previously unreleased demo with haunting lyrics about a friend's suicide. It was recorded before Winehouse's death, but clearly references the 27 Club. Here's what Amy Winehouse told CNN in 2007. I don't write songs because I want my voice to be heard because I want to be famous or any of that stuff. I, I write songs about, about things that I have problems with and I have to get past them and I have to get to make something good out of something bad. It's expected to take weeks to determine what killed Amy Winehouse. But with such songs as Back to Black and Rehab, she has joined the ranks of artists whose music and tragic early death have created a legend that lives on. Atika Schubert, CNN, London. Listen here. At age 27, I will leave this earth for this man right here. July the 3rd, 1969. Rolling Stones founding member Brian Jones drowns in the swimming pool of his East Sussex estate. September the 18th, 1970. Legendary guitarist Jimi Hendrix asphyxiates on his own vomit, having taken a dangerous number of sleeping tablets. October the 4th, 1970. Janis Joplin overdoses on heroin in her Hollywood hotel room. July the 3rd, 1971. Jim Morrison, lead singer of The Doors, suddenly dies of supposed heart failure, potentially the result of a heroin overdose. April the 5th. 1994. Nirvana frontman Kurt Cobain commits suicide following years of heroin addiction, illness, and depression. July 23, 2011. Amy Winehouse passes away, her blood alcohol content more than five times the legal drink drive limit. These six musical legends are united by a strange set of circumstances that have earned them the core membership of an apparently cursed group of stars, the so-called 27 Club. The curse of the 27 Club haunts the music industry, claiming the lives of successful artists at the young age of 27. Aside from the big six already mentioned, famous names associated with the club include ragtime musician Louis Chauvin, soul singer Linda Jones, and Manic Street Preachers guitarist Richie Edwards. Forever 27, a website dedicated to the myth, lists 51 club members, dating from 1892 to the present day. The idea first emerged in the 1970s after the deaths of four 27-year-old superstars in the space of four years. However, it was the suicide of Kurt Cobain in 1994 that popularized it after his mother mentioned the club in an interview. 
More recently, the death of Amy Winehouse reinvigorated the idea of the club in the public consciousness. But were they really cursed? If we compare the lives and deaths of the core six members of the 27 Club, there are many recurring themes. All were incredibly successful and well-known artists, all had troubled relationships with drugs and alcohol, and every single death was considered suspicious. The general public and the media threw accusations of murder at the star's managers, their spouses, dealers, and even contract builders. Even more suspicious is that many members apparently predicted their early deaths. Three years before she died, Winehouse expressed specific fears that she was going to join the club. She told her PA, I have a feeling I'm going to die young. Charles Cross's biography of Kurt Cobain says that, aged just 14, the Nirvana singer told a schoolmate that he would become a successful musician and then go out in a blaze of glory, like Jimi Hendrix. There is even a theory that Cobain deliberately timed his suicide to help this prediction become a reality. Finally, there is the mystery of the White Lighter. Kurt Cobain, Jim Morrison, Janis Joplin and Jimi Hendrix all had a White Lighter in their possession when their bodies were found. Perhaps the ownership of a White Lighter generates bad luck. Or perhaps it's just coincidence. Despite the curse's notoriety, studies have shown that there isn't actually a statistical spike of musicians dying aged 27. Researcher Adrian Barnett took a sample of 1,046 musicians who achieved UK number one albums between 1956 and 2007. He discovered that only 1.3% of those who died were 27. The most common age for musician fatalities was 56 years old, counting for 2.3% of deaths. Overall, there is no statistical evidence that 27 is any more dangerous an age for musicians than, say, 26 or 28. Nevertheless, Barnett did notice a trend of pop musicians facing a risk of death during their 20s that is two to three times greater than that of the general population. This is probably due to the often wild lifestyle and the pressures of exposure that go hand in hand with musical success. Nevertheless, the 27 Club still receives a lot of media attention. It has inspired a number of songs, books and films, such as Fall Out Boy's 27 and 2008 film 27 Club. Whether it is due to coincidence or something more sinister, the legacies of these musicians, from Brian Jones to Amy Winehouse, will forever be linked through their association with the 27 Club. This place is cursed. Hi, I'm Chris, and this is my list of the top five cursed movies. Never mind spooky horror stories, these are the real curses that are rumored to have haunted movie sets and stars. Yes? Listen here, at age 27, I will leave this earth for this man right here. He's the Pell Emperor.